What is up, guys? Welcome on back to Tech Talk Vids, and I broke out the old iPhone 13, and we went ahead and put the brand new iOS 18 on board, and you can immediately see some distinct changes right away from the icons, which we've gone ahead and put into a dark configuration. Changing these are very simple. If you watch the WWDC event, you can go in here and you can go to edit home screen. You can then go to edit, customize, and then it gives you the option to go to light, dark, automatic, tinted, where you could make all of the apps the same color. You can make them pretty much whatever you want, which is kind of dope if you ask me. We've been doing this on Android for years. I already know I'm going to start. I'm starting to flame war in the comments right now. But this basically makes all your icons blue. It tints everything, though. That's the thing. It, it, it does end up tinting everything. It's basically like you have a jailbroken um, iPhone. It's not really anything different here at all. I do like the darker icons though. I, you know, I, I don't know if I'm going to use the tinted thing, but using the darker icons uh, for me, and then you can also go large icons, dark. I'm probably going to do that. I kind of like that. And then um, boom. And as you see there, there we go. We got the large icons. Everything's nice and dark and looks crispy. I really, really, really like this. Now, one of the other things that changed in iOS 18 is the control center. So you have this control center here, right? And you can see there's color here now. It's not all just black and white. And you can control your stuff just like you did before, right? You got your focus. Um, you got your icons and stuff over here. And then you can go up. You have your music right here. Control, other TVs, speakers, anything else you might have connected to iOS and then you also have more settings you got airplane airdrop all of this stuff in here as well and you can add more you can click over here and you can add more add a control take away a control it's actually pretty interesting for iOS 18. Mm -hmm. Now one of the things I find interesting is some of the aesthetic I, I see that they're going more like a round uh, profile on this thing and here's the thing I am running the full uh, developer preview I haven't run into any issues with the device working I haven't really tried Siri I figured we'd try this first and see what happens Siri what is the weather today and it pops up maybe I should turn the silence off right Hey Siri, how bad is the Dodge Hornet sales? But everything seems to be working properly. Uh, everything that you know, like the battery's not draining extra. It's you know, pretty solid. Everything seems to be working exactly as it should. Cameras, apps, pretty much everything. I haven't run into any issues as of yet with this uh, software, with iOS 18. I'll give you guys my thoughts and impressions after running it as the primary software for 24 hours. But so far, um, I kind of like the way the skin looks. I like the way, you know, they have a pass. I like the Passwords app. That's kind of dope. Mm -hmm. um, I like the way that the icons look in a dark configuration. You know, it's just, again, it's not a huge thing. I mean, the Siri thing is probably the biggest thing. We'll try that now. How bad are the Dodge Hornet sales? Try this again. I found this on the web. Where can I buy one? What kind of businesses are you looking for? Yeah, see, they they showed it. They showed this on, on the WWDC that you could just speak to it in context. I haven't seen that as of yet. For me, I'm gonna do some more testing with it and seeing if it. Uh, you know, functions better, maybe with some more stuff. But anyways, there you have it. Just first impressions for me of iOS 18. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section right down here below. And uh, yeah, until next time, stay petty, my friends.